Hi guys. First of all, let me apologise for the quality of this video. I don't really have the equipment or the setup to uh, to do this kind of video, but I thought it was interesting enough to attempt it. Okay, so I guess we've all been in the same situation. You go to use your portable electronic equipment, and the batteries are dead. Uh, they probably shouldn't be dead. <laughs> They've probably been in a case for a long time. You try to charge them. I have the correct charger here for these two camera batteries, both of which are behaving in exactly the same way. Um, the charger doesn't like them. It flashes red and green. Red, green, red, green. Uh, which isn't a good sign. And when you take the batteries from the charger and then you measure them with a the multimeter, you find that, I don't know whether you can see that, but it says 7.97 volts, you find that it, they're at maximum voltage. If you connect a load, uh, in this case I'm just going to use these lights, I hope you can see, uh, so that it's not drawing very much current from the, the battery, you see the light up and immediately go out. Immediately. So when I check the battery voltage again, zero volts, zero volts. So rather than use the charger, if I connect this power supply, immediately the battery goes back. As soon as I connect the power supply, the battery goes back to 7.97 volts. It's uh, maximum voltage. So that got me thinking. That got me thinking that the cells are okay. It's being switched off by some supervisory uh, circuit board inside the battery. I I am not sure exactly, but I believe that this board is capable of counting the number of charge cycles, uh, the age of the battery, and it's there to prevent overcurrent and from the lithium ion battery from uh, actually catching fire or exploding. But I started to wonder whether there's some built in. Uh, deliberate uh, reduction in the lifespan of these batteries. So, if I tore one apart, let's see what we have, what we measure across the terminals. Okay, zero volts. If I connect again the power supply. I can see that the power supply is not drawing any current, but it's jumped to 7.7 .7 volts. So I know for sure, if I connect the multimeter, yeah, it's jumped to 7.73 volts. So these cells are actually in a worse condition, slightly, than the other battery, but they still work. Which I can show you by connecting the lights again. I hope you can see this. I can't see what you can see. And the lights begin to burn brightly. And then they go out. So if we go back to the cell and we measure, it's gone back to zero volts. Something's switching off these cells for some reason. So, as I said, I managed to tear these apart. These are the cells themselves. I've marked the terminals plus and minus. And if I measure each individual cell, 3.8 volts, and the other, 3.7 volts. There's nothing wrong with these cells. 
they're being deliberately switched off for whatever nefarious reason I'm pretty sick of it I think this is deliberate I think it's being managed and it's costing us all a fortune it's costing the environment and who knows what they'll do to us with our car batteries when we all start driving electric cars I don't like it one little bit I'm going to investigate what exactly the control board does this is the control board here there's a thermistor attached which is supposed to monitor the temperature of the batteries but uh, they're not getting warm at all they're not drawing hardly any current in my view this is a disgrace these batteries are 20 pounds each roughly 20 dollars probably 20 euros so that's that guys what do you think let me know in the comments cheers